I'm going to take you back to where I started on this issue, um, which actually has um, only tangentially to do with uh, petroleum and uh, uh, other pressing energy issues. I began back in the early 1990s with the question, why do societies change? Why did we give up hunting and gathering to go to all the trouble of planting and tilling the ground and harvesting and all of that sort of thing? And, and how have societies evolved since then? Um, I looked for answers to this question, obviously in anthropology and archaeology, but also in, uh, um, in political history, economic history. And all of these were useful pieces to the puzzle. But then uh, in the mid-90s, I, I finally stumbled across a realization that, in fact, a, a lot of other uh, anthropologists had, had figured out earlier which is that energy is the key. Energy is what drives human societies, just as it's what drives all of nature. And as we, human beings, uh, exhausted our bioregions back in the days of hunting and gathering, as we got so good at killing large animals that we, uh, we basically hunted most of them to existence, we were forced, more or less, to adapt by developing horticulture, then agriculture, and these produced energy surpluses greater than what we had been able to do with hunting and gathering. 